Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dan E. Campbell and Mark Tracy. Like her, a girl who's merely lovely. Why can't a fella ever once prefer a girl who's merely me? She's a frothy little bubble with a frilly sort of air. And with very little trouble, I could pull out all her hair. Oh, oh, why would a fella want a girl like her? A girl who's merely lovely. Why can't a fella ever once prefer a girl who's merely me? What's the matter with the man? What's the matter with the man? What's the matter with the man? Sunlight, so winning, so unlike a wife. I do think that I'm beginning to show signs of life. Don't ask me how at my age one still can grow. If you met my wife, you'd know. Darling, I'm just longing to meet her someday. She sparkles. How pleasant. She twinkles. How nice. Her youth is a sort of present. Whatever the price. The incandescent. What the light of my life. You must meet my wife. Yes, I must. I really must. Now. She flutters. Charming. She twitters. My word. She floats. Isn't that alarming? What is she? A bird? She makes me feel I'm what? A very old man? Yes. No, no. but... You I must meet your Gertrude. My Anne. Sorry, Anne. She loves my voice, my walk, my mustache, the cigar and fat that I'm smoking. She'll watch me puff until it's just ash. Then she'll save the cigar, but bizarre, but you're joking. She dotes on your dimple, my snoring. Dear. The point is she's really simple. Yes, that much seems clear. She gives me funny names. Like, first of all, over here on the drums, we have my old buddy Jack Lacom. Uh, here on bass, we have my new buddy, Kirk Smith. Thank you, Kirk. And on keyboards, as almost always, we have our musical director and our musical mentor, the wonderful Mr. Nick Fryman. Uh, this song is about two people who have already known each other for quite a while. So we're alone again tonight. I read a book, you watch the fight. Stifled yawn, a can of beer. What an enthralling atmosphere. And yet the sight of us this way helps me to say what I must say. It helps me to think a thought or two to pass it right along to you. And just for starters, you should know, I think, you've let yourself go. <laughs> Down through the years, each sage repeats, grass never grows on busy streets, which might explain that balding spot. Were you a thinker, which you're not? And where's that slender youth I knew? I fear he's grown an inch or two. Not up and down by joy and pride, but more precisely side to side. Was it simply that? Who else but a buzz of body will notice the obvious flaws? Now I feel it is my duty to point out it's time to adjust to your age. Now, Dan, you try and be pegger my heart when you're Lady Macbeth. Now, exactly how old are you, Dan? The truth? Well, how old do you think? Well, I'd say somewhere between 50 and death. <laughs> but, sweetie, I'll always be Alice Toklas if you'll be Gertrude Stein. And though I'll admit I've dished you, I've 
gossiped and gloated, but I'm so devoted. And if I say that sex and guts made you into a star, it's simply that. Who else but a bosom body will tell you how rotten you are? Just turn to your bosom body for aid and affection, for help and direction, for loyalty, love, and for soon. Remember that. Who else but a bosom body will sit down and laugh or will give you the devil will sit down and tell you the truth. Thank you everyone. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thanks to our wonderful trio. What? 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 Take a bow, all right. Oh, we had to twist my arm. You take a bow now. I see the way it works. Thank you very much.